morning guys it is 902 and I've actually been up since 5 o'clock this morning um, and I thought I'd actually do a video last night well I thought last night of the idea since I've never really had a lot of makeup and good products in my ipsy bag to actually do like a full um, <laughs> like a full makeup um, review thing and because I only like review maybe one or two items I'm actually going to review do a first impression on several and this is this month's ipsy bag and products are falling out but I've actually got like a bunch of products that are that I want to try out that I've never tried before um I've seen these in stores these NYX butter glosses but I never really had a chance to try it because they never have like a color I would actually like because I kind of like to stay with lip glosses I like to stay more towards the pinks and the nudes and maybe the browns and they had like a lot of red gloss which I really don't like unless I'm wearing a red lipstick which is not really often but I got a NYX butter gloss in apple strudel I got a be a bombshell mascara in lash out from bom be a bombshell cosmetics and of course it's black thank god okay. and I got this really super cute liner I thought this was like the new NYX liner but it's not it's actually um Nick Kia something I guess it's maybe a brand up in New York because it's a New York brand I've never heard of but it's a shimmer eyeliner and of course on the barrel it says shimmer eyeliner and it is this beautiful shade of green so I'm definitely excited to try out that I tried it in the back of my hand the color is gorgeous then I have this Mark Anthony true professional dreams wave beach spray create sexy tussled beach waves all year long and it just says spray evenly throughout damp or dry hair scrunch up hair to ample waves and texture I love to dry naturally with a soft finish or high voltage waves use the diffuser while scrunching. I don't own a diffuser. I barely own a hair dryer. Actually I used to own a hair dryer but it broke a few months ago on me. Well, died more like because it's like old as shit. And I have Essence of Beauty Forever Paris Fine Fragrance Body Mist. And like when I opened my Ipsy Glam bag I thought maybe it had spilled because I could smell it. But it has not spilt. It has not broken. I just took off the plastic this morning. It's just a very fragrant thing, I guess. So. Okay, the sun keeps disappearing on me. That's wonderful. Where's my... Uh. We're going to try the shimmer liner first. I've never tried it, so I don't know how it's going to look it goes on really well Trying to do a nice thick line because I'm not gonna do a cat eye or anything. I'm not going out the house today. So it doesn't matter if I do one or not. So I'm just not gonna do one. I'm just gonna do a nice just a thick line on the outer corner. But I love this color. It's gorgeous. I'm not one for green. Like I like certain green colors with just some colors I cannot pull off, but I do love this. this is gorgeous and I don't think it um as I'm putting it on it doesn't make me look kinda washed out. I guess maybe because it's a darker green. But I love it. It is gorgeous. 
I may have to find a look to do with this. The only bad thing is I kind of use the tip of um, the liner when I line, so I kind of start to kind of go back into the product to get more. I don't know why, I just always just use the tip when I line with any liquid eyeliner. Or when I use the felt tip pens, it's just the tip. But um, I just kind of created a thick line at the edge and rounded it out towards the middle. No cat eye. But it's kind of running into my tear duct a bit. Okay, I might have put a little too much at the edge. That might be it because it's not doing it to this one. So that may be what happened. I put too much on the tip. Okay. Yes, my baby, I can hear you. Please don't go climbing all my stuff. Okay, there we go. As you can see, this is the color. It goes on really well, and the tip is really just um, fine pointed. As you can see, it's just really fine tipped. It's a stiff tip, which is what I love when I buy liquid liners, because I feel I have more control than a, those loose, flimsy brushes. I really don't like those. But um, actual name of the Ipsy bag, or the theme of the Ipsy bag this month is Pretty in Paradise. So, okay, let's that dry a little bit and then I'm going to try the mascara once it's dry. I don't want to... Ooh, I dropped some of my foot on my leg. Wow. Um, I'm actually going to try... I actually washed my hair this morning, kind of scrunched it up a bit. Um, it doesn't really show with my hair because my hair is really thin and it's hard to hold its shape. Especially when I don't curl my hair because it's so thin and lightweight that the curl actually just lose the volume and just become straight. So let's see. Doesn't really say anything, so I'm just going to. Okay. Oh. Give my hair a really good spritz. I'm sorry if someone if you got some on the camera. Um scrunching, scrunching, scrunching. It doesn't say how much to use. So I'm just going to scrunch the hell out of my hair. Just random bits. I doubt it's going to do anything to my hair. I really do doubt. But for the sake of beauty, get some underneath it, maybe it might work. Okay. Actually, I think I just kind of dampened my hair with this. Because I pretty much did a lot of it. Oh, come on, bangs. Get in there and get scrunched. Okay. Hmm. I really don't see a difference. I, I see frizz. More frizzy, frizzy hair. Yeah. I don't know. Let's give it one more go. And let's see. Maybe I just didn't do enough in it. Or this may be one of the techniques or products I cannot use in my hair for 
obvious reasons. This is just how all me and my friends would scrunch our hair. Of course, the only way I can actually scrunch my hair and make it stay if I use like a shitload of mousse in my hair. We mostly don't do it in the summer because it's too hot and we keep our hair up in the summer. And just scrunching, scrunching, scrunching. Like I said, we just grab a handful and we scrunch up with it. I don't know if that's a technique everybody uses, but I know that's just the way we always did it. Because I know around 2001, 2002, scrunching became really popular among me and my friends and our schoolmates. I think we were in the 8th grade when it became very popular and everyone started doing it. But, um, yeah, I don't really see anything. I just see frizz like all this frizz I don't know I give up on it so this might be a no-go product for me but we're going to continue throughout the day and let's see what it does next we're going to try the NYX butter gloss I just got a feeling for scrunching I'm going to stick with having my hair mostly wet and just Moosing the hell out of it. Mm, that's one of my finger. <laughs> and yes, I hiccup, so excuse me. Goes on real good. Not real sticky. Um Not really pigmented a lot. So very like pigmented. It's good. I definitely see in the viewfinder there's a high gloss shine to it. But not real color. I guess this is more like a nude color. And I love the fact that it's kind of fragrancy without being, you know, when you're talking, you know you're not tasting the fragrance of it. It's kind of like a fruity kind of a smell. I wouldn't be able to place the scent, but it's definitely pretty good. Taste wise, I'm pretty sure it's not good, so I'm not going to try to taste it. And next we're going to move on to be a bombshell, a mascara. I know it's early and I normally tell you the prices of things, but I'm actually going to have like the prices below. Because I know our Ulta store for the butter gloss, it varies in price from like store to store for us. Because on the south side, it's a bit cheaper than it is on the north side. So I'm actually going to list the site prices where you can get it. And of course, a coupon that um, you can use if some if some of the stores. So I do get emailed a lot of coupons to be able to help you get some points off but I don't think I have any. I may have one for NYX. I'm always getting email from NYX but I didn't re really read the emails. I probably should curl my lashes. I could go ahead and do one with no curl lashes and the one with a curl lash. So you can see the difference. This is going to be the one, of course, with no lash curling. Um, I kind of see a little bit of curling when I've applied this. And just not a whole lot of definition. Like, um, not definition, what you call that, um, Fuzzy butt! Hi! Um, thickening, I guess. Yeah, thickening is what, what I was looking for. It's not a lot of thickening in it. So this is probably definitely not a thickening mascara. And I actually do not know where my eyelash curler did. I had it last week when I filmed. So, but it ran away, so. 
because I normally keep it over there on my work table. I don't see it. Then it's probably somewhere in the bathroom, my purse, or my make my small makeup bag. Who knows where I moved it last? Oh well. Now this one I kind of got something. I got definitely lengthening from this side. Let me see. Let me if I just go. There we go. Got some more lengthening. Instead of just taking it from the base and wiggling up like I was doing constantly, I see now that you can do that and then go back over the tips with it and it will lengthen your lashes. Okay, so that's how that's going to work. Okay. So I guess you, it's a body, like a sort of curling, because it kind of curled my lashes a bit, curling mascara and a lengthening mascara. Oh my god, I like this now. But um, this is the side and of course, like always, um, I didn't have much makeup on my face. I just had my foundation, my setting powder, of course my eyeliner, and I had traced my upper waterline with an eyeliner to fill in my lashes. And I actually have Lorac's nude um, kind of shimmery shadow on my lids and I did my brows. I half assed did them. I just did them. I didn't get to brush it out or anything, fix it. But um, it is now 10:18, so I am going to check back in a few hours and let you know the results of everything. But so far, I do not have high hopes for the uh, Mark Anthony Beach Spray. I really don't. But of course, again, that's my hair type and maybe the humidity. I haven't gone outside yet, so I'm gonna go outside a few times and check it because it's very hot and humid today. And with us, we have a lot of wet humidity in the air because. We live in Louisiana, so it's not a dry humidity. I mean, a dry heat or anything, so. I don't know what I need. I probably just need my cup of coffee. I haven't had that yet. I can't concentrate or think without it. Kitty, want to go ride to Starbucks with me? Yeah, let's go ride. Okay, check back in a few hours. Okay, it is 12.42, and I am here with the updates. I've already had lunch, so I've already eaten, and so a lot of the gloss that was still kind of left over that hasn't absorbed into the skin of my lips have just completely gone. But it's still not sticky. Sometimes I always get that kind of, ah, okay, that's not good. Um, I only get that after sticky, kind of glossy feeling after the gloss is left, but I don't have it with this. And... The eyeliner is still very vibrant. I don't know, you may have to see because the clouds keep rolling in and out. It's been raining all day. But the mascara is still working. Um, I don't really have any of that color I normally get on the sides with some of them. I'm sorry, I'm actually kind of watching some of the soap operas too. Right now it's the bold and the beautiful one. I hardly ever get to see my soaps. I have no black smudging on the outer corner, which I normally get with some mascaras, because I'm always like touching my eye, and I have been touching my eye lately. So, um, of course, because I've been touching my eye, my eyeliner has not really smudged much. I mean, it is in the outer corner because I kept rubbing it a while ago. I had a lash in my eye or something, and it just would not go away, so I kept rubbing it. So. I'm going to reapply some more lip gloss. I think I may be addicted to this stuff now. For me, it's always hard to find a really good lip gloss. For the hair, um, it's not really, I mean, it kind of sort of is working, but it's not anywhere as near where I actually have my hair when I scrunch it. So, 
but uh, for the most part it is kind of scrunching, you know, kind of makes waves and kind of gives me that tussle look. So that's pretty much it. I did spray a bit of the perfume before I left to go get some coffee, but I find it was too strong for me, kind of gave me a headache, which I can't really handle really strong smelling perfumes or colognes or body sprays and it even made the cat sneeze in the car and he has a, I'm one of those people who will take my pet for a ride she hasn't gone out for a ride in a while so I took her out with me but even she was sneezing she actually jumped to the back seat because she normally sits and lays down in the passenger seat while I drive but so I don't think I'll be wearing this far too much Maybe on a windy day when I really can't smell it. But so far, I'm really loving the eyeliner and the mascara. And of course, I'm really digging the lip gloss. So, or well, butter gloss is what they want to call it. So I'll be back at the end of the night before I take off my makeup and give you my final thoughts. Okay, it is 7.40 and for me that means the end of the night. So let's check everything out. My mascara did really well. It was just kind of slightly clumping together as the day went on. Uh, I didn't notice much clumping after I filmed when I filmed the second part, but later on the day I just noticed it start clumping. But again, I was I'm always touching my eye because I'm always rubbing it or kind of just doing this for some reason. I don't know. I always kind of do that. It's kind of like I just maybe a boredom habit or maybe a nervous tick I have. I don't know. But the eyeliner is still doing great. Still very pigmented. It did kind of rub off on the side, but then again, like I said, I rub my eyes a lot, so that's a common problem I have with an eyeliner. It rubs off at the order at the outer corner. So probably it will hold better if I actually stop touching my eye. Um, the hair, um, I really don't see any difference in it. It's not like when I scrunch with mousse. I find mousse helps my hair better. So uh, maybe someone who can actually maybe style their hair could actually find this product more useful than I did. I guess a this is pretty, what pretty much looks like after I curl my hair. Like I'll have curls for a few hours, but then like three hours later, my hair kind of looks like this. Like the curls have fallen, but there there's waves, but they're supposed to be curls. So I don't know why. Even my hairstylist has a hard time trying to find a way to curl my hair and make it stay. Like she's always had a problem with my hair like that. But yeah, I'm definitely loving this and I actually went online on my phone. I am so lazy, like I got my laptop laying next to me, but i rather just use my phone. I don't know why. Maybe because I can lay down and do this with it. But with my laptop, I can't. Ooh, my dad texted me and I didn't even notice. One sec, guys. Ooh, he wants to get me a chocolate cake? Sure. Better be a slice. They're not bringing the whole damn thing. Because trust me, my dad brings like something like sweet home, like a little Debbie's cake things. I may eat maybe one or two out of it, and it'll. Okay, thank you, Daddy. It will stay in the pantry for at least six to a six months to a year before I decide to throw it away. Of course, back then I, when I find it and I know it's old, I throw it away. I really don't like sweets that much. Let me brighten my screen. Damn auto brights. It works. Um, okay. For of course the spray, like I said, I found it incredibly strong. And I know I didn't put it on camera because I didn't really plan to go out. And I only spray perfume or body spray if I plan to go out somewhere. But um I did find this really strong to begin with. I thought maybe something had leaked into the bag because when I opened my bag that smell just kind of really hit me strong and um, I actually checked the bottle. The bottle wasn't broken. The seal wasn't broken. So 
I took the plastic off and I checked everything. It's fine. It does not leak. It's just incredibly strong because I can hold it this far and I can still smell it. And uh, after trying this out before I filmed, I went on the Ipsy site and I totally did my reviews like I normally do. And a lot of people said that this was a really strong fragrance. I like, a couple of people said the strong the scent was so strong that it was strong to the point where it nauseated them. So um, I don't know if it's just with Forever Paris. I mean, the first few I seen about Wind Kiss, they said it was light. It was you know not so strong, but I may have to check out another fragrance. But um, lip gloss of course for me, I my lips soak up lip gloss like crazy. So, I don't know. And it's not because they're dry or anything, so I'm always putting like lip balm on before I go to sleep at night. Lip balm after I brush my teeth in the morning. Like, I'm always applying some lip balm or lip gloss. But, um, I, the skin of my lips just soak it up so fast. But I do like it. I do like it's not that's not sticky. It's not a heavily perfumed lip gloss like some of them are. And I definitely love the mascara, but the slight clumping. But for me, the fact that I don't have raccoon eyes, because after a while, I kind of have that black run off onto this outer corner right here and just kind of goes down a little bit after a while. I haven't seen this with this yet. So, this is good because that little stray mark stuff that comes off um, is the reason why I don't wear drugstore mascara because I find they're cheaply made. Because most of the high-end mascaras I try do not do that, and only the drugstores do. Ex only the one I haven't seen the drugstore one do is um, Rimmel Scandal Eyes. I haven't seen it do that. Or the Maybelline New York Lash Stiletto. Those are the two I find that so far ha I've been using for a while, and they have not done that. No, I can't the rest of their formulas do that. But it actually got on the sites and actually found where you can pick these up. For the Essence of Beauty, um, if you like strong fragrances, like if you're going to a place that you're going to be sweating a lot, this may come in handy for you. Like I may have to use this when I go to a convention for uh, like MechaCon or Louisiana because there's so many people and we're running around. I may actually need this. But sometimes deodorant is not enough unless you plan to carry some. And I actually do my friends make fun of me when I go to conventions because I actually carry a small little travel size deodorant in my pocket. It's better to have it than stink, okay? <clears throat> my small little two ounce bottle, which is this, is $2.99. And the full size eight ounce bottle is $6.99 and can be found uh, at CVS. Maybe this is why I've never heard of it because I really don't shop CVS. I really don't um, go anywhere but Walgreens. But I normally just go in, get band aids, or you know. Um, actually, the pretty much the only other thing I guess of Walgreens is medicine. I, I shop everywhere else for everything else, except maybe the Oreos because they're the only one I can actually find the chocolate birthday cake Oreo. So okay, next one is the NYX Butter Gloss. Actually, while I was going out for coffee, I checked my Ulta by my house. They don't carry this yet because I noticed they don't carry a lot of things. Like, I haven't even seen the macaroon lippies yet, and they have been out for quite a while. Neither Ulta has gotten them. I don't know why. I don't know if they're planning to get them later or what. But, um, there's several shades to choose from, and they are $5. And I checked at NYX.com. Well, NYX Cosmetics, I mean, they got quite a list of fragrance. Ooh, they even got Devil's Food Cake. I want to try that. Red Velvet Lippy Cupcake. Okay, so apparently they are Fortune Cookie Cherry Pie. Okay, so apparently they're all named after desserts. So, I don't know. You may actually kind of... Ooh, Eclair. I don't know what that one's like. So, you may actually get hungry if you... So reading these names if you're a sweet person. Wow. Okay. Next is, and I seem to have lost the shimmer liner. Okay. Kitty, was that the one I thought you playing with earlier? I'm in the night. 
Okay, whatever. Um, let's see, it is... I don't know how you would pretty much say this. I don't know if, like, maybe... Because I'm not from New York. I think it's Nick A. Because um, it's um, N-I-C-K-A, New York. Um, I don't know how... Well, Nick K... Well, kind of good, because the full name is N I C K A and then K on the side. I don't know, it's not a brand we have around here. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Because I've seen places that you'd read it one way, the way it's the way the letters are, are spelt, but it's like totally different name. Because we have that problem here. There's a road that if you read it, it says Reno, but it's pronounced Renard. When I was growing up, I'm like, Daddy, that, that's not Renard. This is Reno. And you laugh at me. I've said that for years. Because that's the way it's spelled. So, I'm sorry if anyone knows the correct way to pronounce it. I'm sorry. I don't. I'm Southern. Just don't try to read any French names if you're in Louisiana. Because trust me, you'll butcher them. I know. I live here and I butcher them constantly. But the product is only $4.99. Now, if you can see, my phone's... Maybe a little too bright. Let me see. Four ninety nine is awesome. I'm also going to have the pictures with the prices for them. Okay, I cannot read it when it's that dull. Like um, at the end of this video, or you could just go down to the websites that I'm gonna have linked below with the products. You can check them all out because I really like the one with the shimmer shadows because they got a lot of good colors. They got black, brown, a white, silver, aqua, a pink. It's like a orangey spark girl copper gold. And then of course they have gold. So I definitely want to check more of those colors out because I think they're gorgeous. Next for oh, this. The Mark Anthony Beach Waves. Like, I could not believe when I found it, because I thought this would maybe be a high-end product or something. Maybe you'd find the back of Ulta. Walgreens. Like, for real, it's, it's Walgreens, okay? It is Walgreens. And it's normally $8.79, but for right now, it is $6.99. Let's see. Let's see if there's any stores near me that has it. Come on. Oh, this is why I hate Walgreens website. It's always so slow. Um, the one by my house on Moss Street in Pointe Mouton is in stock. University. Hey. Okay, why'd you do that? They had it, then it went to enter my zip code. Really? Ugh, technology. Okay, the one from by, well, UMC. Uh, let's see. They have it. The one by Westgate and Cameron, which is which is 93 and Highway 90. They have it. University and Glory Switch the other way from my house, which is still by my house, has it. So basically, all the ones around here have it in stock. So most likely, if you want to go out and try it, then more likely it will be in your area. This is definitely a high-end mascara. It's on Be a Bombshell by Be a Bombshell Cosmetics. And the only way I have ever heard of this or even gotten products was from my Ipsy bag. And like all products I've gotten from them before, this one did not disappoint. And I found it on the Be a Bombshell website, the Lash Out Mascara. And the only color it has is intense black and it is in stock right now, but limited supply, and it's $15. That's not bad because the one I like to use, Life Camera Lashes, is at least $22 in store. So I would actually buy this over Lights Camera Lashes, and that's normally my go-to one. It's also cheaper than my Lancome eye mascara that I like to use, which is that one is $20, so I might actually be buying this one a lot more. 
Oh, look, they even give you like little tips and application techniques. To make your lashes extra full and feathery, coat both sides of your lashes up and upper and lower lashes. Apply two to three coats for ample dramatic effect. Be a bombshell tip. When applying most mascaras, wiggle the lash wand close to the base of your lash line for the fullest effect. They probably should also, if you really want lengthening, go ahead and just apply it to the tips as well because I find that actually made it like so much more dramatic. Yep. That's where you can get them. Um, I actually wish they had Bombshell and Ulta by my house because I just love this. But of course, like all mascara, I hate that little bit at the end. So if you're like me, you can either... Well, my friend Brittany does this. It kind of uses the cap, but I kind of just take it off the back of my hand. Like this. I mean, maybe wipe will take that off easily. Or soap and water. But definitely, most of these products I will buy again, except for the Mark Anthony and the Be Essence of Beauty. I'm sorry, that did not hit my expectations like it should. But, um, I really don't blame the spray, the Mark Anthony spray, because I think it's my hair. So, unfortunately, that failed. Because uh, if this product would have worked on my hair, like, I would have been, like, so freaking impressed because it's a drugstore product. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of drugstore things. I prefer to buy the high-end stuff because it's more likely to work. Just out of my personal experiences. Because I know my dad's like, oh, and some of my friends are like, oh, the drugstores are, are, just as, are just as good. You don't have to go out and spend money. But I'm like, for my personal expense, um, you know, for my experiences, I have had horrible, horrible, horrible experiences with drugstore stuff over high-end brands. But that just could be, of course, like my hair I have trouble with. Nail polishes don't really matter because the way I work, I use my hands and I'm always hitting my hands. So that's, no matter what I buy, my nail polish chips so fast. Even the ones I make for myself chip so fast. But, yes. And of course this, because it's way too strong, I might actually have to go to CVS and maybe smell some of the others. Maybe I can do a better review next time I try it and let you know that I found this one, another product that's like this but not as strong. Because looking at some of the reviews for Wind Kiss, I may actually want to go out and try that one because it said it was so light and scent, so I don't know, I didn't get that one. Ipsy gave me this one, so... I am going to go hop in the shower and wash all this crap off and do a mask and probably read the last book of the Fire and Ice series that I have left to read. So, bye guys.